Hey YouTube, Baller5AJK here, and today I'm going to talk about the economy throughout Europe, the United States, Canada, also precious metals, which I'm quite interested in. And um, if you check out my other video, my precious metals assortment, it shows all the other uh, precious, all the precious metals that I've collected, which is only silver and gold. Uh, I have one ounce of gold and an uh, ounce of silver and a uh, nugget of gold. So I don't have a lot of precious metals at the moment, but I got them for a good price. I paid $1,000 an ounce for the gold. It's $1,800 an ounce now. And I paid uh, 30, no, 20 something dollars for the silver, $25 for the silver. It's at $35 an ounce right now. I should have bought more gold. I should have bought more gold. But um, I would have made big profit. But And then I bought some. Um, I just gold nugget. It was really cool. So just check that out. It's over here somewhere. Um, sorry. Yeah, it's over there. And um, today I'm going to talk about the economy. So there's two ways to, that I like to think about it. I'm thinking about buying more gold and silver. And I'm, I'm looking at Atmex. They look like a good site to buy through. And so tell me what, what your experiences with Atmex have been. Just comment below. Say whether uh, how your shipping's been. I don't know how that all works. I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. I think when you... Take make the order. They lock you in, lock in the price it's at. So I'm gonna wait till like it's low and then maybe make an order. But um, it's mostly the gold that adds up cost, ends up costing the money. So for example, I was looking at like some nice silver coins and like, even the nice proof coins, MS70 coins like silver. Like the nicest one I saw that was an ounce, like really collectible coin, was like 500 bucks or something. Which is I get, I guess, I guess it depends what you're investing with. But this isn't really an investment too. It's kind of a collection. Just a nice place to put my money because the bank pays me one percent interest. So, or I get potentially say I have eleven thousand dollars in the bank, you only get eleven dollars a month off that money. So it's not great. Whereas if you invested in gold, you've got the opportunity to make the money. Plus, you have the actual object, which is kind of cool. And uh, I think silver's got more potential to grow than gold. Other than the fact that gold has that certain value to it that silver doesn't because throughout history gold's been used as currency and gold has that it, people use it in jewelry where and they do for silver too but it's more um like if I my ounce of, I prefer my ounce of gold over my ounce of silver not just because of the value of it even if the gold was worth less than silver I think I'd like it more so anyways that's that's where I'm coming from so I'd like to get some nice gold coins and some, a couple silver coins too and maybe a no more bars. I don't really like the bullion, to be honest. Um, it has nothing to it to me, in my opinion. So, the European economic state is not good at the moment. And we all know that. Greece, Italy, Ireland, all those countries, they're, they're just totally in debt. And uh, right now, China is just super high of the world. And the United States is in massive amounts of debt. They're in heaps of debt. I think it's $14 trillion, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm Canadian, so I don't know a lot about the U.S. economy. However, they have a good GDP, so that's good. They, but it's not paying it off. They're just printing money. They print, 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 print. Bernanke and those guys, the, the Federal Reserve guys, just print. They print all the money they want. And the people of America kind of understand this. Uh, and other countries understand this. But they don't really give us any information as to what they're doing. So... And they try to confuse you. So I'm 16 and I'm going through high school. And those guys can be really confusing. The way they talk about things and the way they... Uh, just the way... They're like lawyers, but... <laughs> like they're tricksters. They trick people. So an example of this is Ron Paul. He's a great guy in my opinion. He, he seems like to really have a really really have a concern for the American public and he and the um the country's well being. So I like to watch him and on his gold videos and things like uh, on his like what he has to say about gold. He seems to think it's a good thing, right? Good time to buy. And uh one time I was watching this video and he was asking Bernanke if he thinks gold is money and they're just like the guys at the Federal Reserve are like, no, it was just a hump of metal. But they they they're just lying. They just lie. So Let's face it, gold is money. I think a lot of you will agree with me on that. And I think the more you stack, the more gold you have over time, the better off you'll be. It's not. I don't think it's a get-rich thing. I don't at all. It's not a thing where 
you you're gonna make a million dollars off an ounce of gold. But if that was true, then you could buy it. It, it just not, it doesn't work like that. Gold's gonna go up and down, up and down. But in the long run, due to inflation, gold's gonna be going up. So if you want to if you want um, to have some extra money for your kids or your family in the future or um, something you want to nice you want to buy for yourself. I think it's not a bad thing to it's not it's a great way to keep your money I think and um, if you have a larger I think you need to be diversified so it's good I think it's good to have stocks people some people think oh, I used to stay with the stock market but the stock market isn't all losses uh, right now it's it's pretty bad um, people are predicting companies are gonna get hit hard because of the European crisis but let's face it it's, it's I think it's a good way to have I think you should have at least 10% of your money in the stock market then other most people most adults have a house and a car if they can afford it. So a house and a car that that's a good place to have your money. Car I would never go buy a new car, but that's just my opinion. Um, and then to have some money in gold. Some people say ten percent. For me, because I'm younger, I think I'm gonna put more in gold and silver. But I think you got to be diversified in these in these aspects of life. And if you can have an apartment build or a business like that where you can get revenue. In, and the interest rates are so low right now that it's 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 if I can't take advantage of it because I'm still in a high school, but for adults I think right now is the time you have to take advantage of the low interest rates. But anyways, um, so gold in the long run is just a safe place to have your money, and that's why people buy it, and that's why the price goes up. Because when people want a safe place to put their money in shitty economic times, they go to gold and silver. Um, and right now, that shows, okay? Now, interest rates going up, are, it's also balancing. Gold's balancing for the for the just printing of the money, the inflation. It just balances itself out over time. And that's what we're seeing. So I think in the, I think gold and silver are a good buy, even with the high price of gold. Silver is a great buy right now, in my opinion. I think silver is a better buy than gold at the moment because it's $30, $35 an ounce versus $1,800. Thousand eight hundred is the peak. It's it's quite high. Like that's very high for gold, but there's no means. There's no reason why it can't go to two, three thousand dollars an ounce. And I think that if I wait four months, in my personal opinion, I'm gonna wait for four months on the gold, and it might take a little hit, and then maybe it'll start to climb. I could be totally off. It could be up to three thousand dollars an ounce in four months, and I could be miss my opportunity. But you know what? That's life, and that's investing for you. And you have to have a bit of a stomach to do it. So all those guys that I watch on YouTube that take all their money, I've seen guys that take tens of thousands of dollars and invest it into gold and silver. And I have respect for them because even if they don't do well, I'm not saying they won't. I think I think they will in the long run. But even in the short run, if they fuck up a little bit, they may they're in a safe place. That's actually it's always going to be worth something. Where money is declining, you take a pile of money and stick it on your bed. Or in a safe, and it's getting worth less every year because of inflation. You take a pile of gold, chances are it's going up in value every year. So that's all I have to say. Comment below. Tell me what you think about purchasing gold, purchasing silver, um, numismatic coins, and that's that's what I'm interested in. So tell me what coins you think are a good good thing to purchase at the moment, like modern coins that might be worth more one day. And uh, just to have something that when I'm an old guy, an old fart. Can look at it and say, yeah, that's really pretty. Like I bought that with my own money. That's worth ten grand now, right? Who knows? So, like anything in life, it's something you have to think about. And if you want to check out my other video, it's on precious metals trading. You know, so it's on precious metals assortment. It's just what I own, which isn't a lot. So I don't own a lot. I'm just trying to learn. So if I've said anything that's totally off, totally wrong about Europe or America, the the debt, anything like that. Tell me, I'm trying. I'm just trying to learn, like you are, if you're here or you're just teaching people. But I'm just trying to learn about this. And um, sorry if I said anything that's wrong. Thanks for watching. Bye.